hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's ade here again if you're a new subscriber my name is ade i film about faith motherhood and lifestyle and if you're an existing subscriber you're very welcome thank you ever so much for always coming back thank you for your likes for your shares for your comment thank you for always 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 coming back thank you <laughs> thank you very much um hmm. in this video it's going to be a story time i know how much you guys like story time videos and trust me i have plenty stories <laughs> i have plenty stories and lessons to be learned okay it's not just to come here and gist and laugh and all of that there's always something to learn at the end of the story now this is a story of when i was camped in lagos nigeria hey eh i was calmed <laughs> if you're interested if you're ah sorry i cannot speak this afternoon <laughs> if you're interested in this video please keep on watching yes a story of when i was calm um so this was a time where i was back in nigeria I, I just come back to nigeria from england i finished my masters came back to nigeria uh two months after getting to nigeria i got a job i moved to lagos and yeah on this faithful day i just got an email from my bank and um i think check the um address of the email i just so i think the bank uh, told me um um you've been your your token has been disabled because you you don't log out of your email something along that line and funny enough for a, a couple of days i would not i'll just check my balance or maybe do a transaction and just leave that page i don't i don't um click out to um, log out of my online banking so i i had that habit of doing that so when i saw that um email i actually thought it was real i didn't I didn't double check okay I don't know why I didn't double check I didn't double check so anyway I clicked the link in that email I put in my details and I, I think I logged out or I changed my password I really can't remember anyway then my supposed bank called me and they told me oh we sent you an email this this this, this. and i told them oh yes i'm um, sorry uh, please don't dis don't disable my token uh da, da 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 i've now changed my password and this and this and this and they said oh okay that's fine no problem and they now said okay we just need to do something i can't remember what they said they wanted to do anyway they said they wanted to do something in their back end so they asked they requested for my uh um, token so they told me to press my token and tell them the um the numbers for my token so apparently when i clicked that link in their own end or in the scammers end <laughs> they had gained access to my account so all they needed to do was to add someone to add a recipient uh or a new payee something like that. yeah to add a new payee to my list of payees and transfer my money to that person's account now the total um <laughs> the total balance i had or the total uh, money i had in my account was three hundred and fifty thousand naira and that was my life savings okay that was everything i had <laughs> at that point in time so they told me um, so they told me to tell them my token so i told them the first time i told them they told me again to tell them that i should price it again i told them the second time and they told me okay no worries the problem is now resolved you can log in and out of your online banking and you can you know go about doing your business and i told them oh thank you very much thank you and i dropped the call only for me to <laughs> receive notifications that you have added so 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 person to your payee um this amount has been debited from your account <laughs> i froze <laughs> i froze guys i froze <laughs> oh my goodness i froze i didn't know what to do i don't even know if i took permission from my boss i just put my hand on my head carried my bag i can't even remember if i carried my bag but i know i took my phone and just went out of the office i can't remember if i took a bus because um the nearest um bank um um outlet to where i was working 
was about two bus stops so what i did was i can't remember if i had run if i took a bike if i took a bus or if i had walked i can't even remember i know i just got to the bank and i entered and i just spoke with the um um the the next available um customer service person and i was just rushing and talking <sighs> she was just like okay calm down calm down calm down i'm like the bank called me they told me to do this now my I, my money is gone da, 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 da. that is all i had and i was i was i, I was I was broken okay i was really really down and then she told me the bank did not call you um let me check our records the bank did not call you i said the bank called me check very well the bank called me <laughs> and she told me the bank did not call you it's probably one of these scammers da, 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 da. i showed the i showed her the email i had received she told me then she clicked the um, email address and told me you see this is not uh, the bank's email address this is definitely a phishing email this is a scammer <sighs> there i was just i was almost peeing on my body i was devastated like that was my life savings however you see this is my god eh? ah this god is too good though <laughs> apparently i don't know the way the network is sha something happened and the money bounced back into my account like into the real owner's account <laughs> and then she told me that then she, she told me to just sit down so she checked the transactions she checked everything and then she had seen that the money actually was debited to, to this particular person and the because of network issues or something like that the money bounced back to my account and i was like <sighs> i was so happy i was so so excited anyway she told me okay you know what well, what is actually going to happen is that you're going to feel a withdrawal slip to um uh, um withdraw the money and then fill in a deposit slip to deposit back the money into your account so i i did that i filled the withdrawal slip filled the deposit slip so you know i received an alert from the bank again that just deposited withdrawn and deposited that money back into my account ah guys i was happy i was happy i was very very happy <laughs> anyway i thanked the lady she was really i can't remember her name she was so so nice to me i was so happy i went back to my to my office i told my colleagues what had happened i told them you know ah i told them what had happened And then I went to my online banking. You know the name of the the this the name the of the of the payee that the scammer um added to my account was still there. So I checked I checked the name the the first and the last name. I checked it up on Facebook. I saw this person. I remember sending that person a message that please stop doing this. Please stop scamming people. It is not nice. You know, <laughs> stop doing this. There are better things that you can do. <gasps> Oh, anyway that is the story of how i was calmed and how god just helped me to recover my you know to recover my money back and since then <laughs> if you send me an email i will check and double check the url the the email address to make sure it's actually coming from the right source if it's not coming spam straight <laughs> so that's the story guys yes that's the story of how i was scammed or how i was nearly scammed anyway anyone <laughs> so um if you like the story time video if you want more story time videos let me know in the comment section if you want if there's anything in particular you want me to talk about please put it in the comment section and i will see you in my next video bye